is up, MMA True Believers? I am Jason Burgos, for sure, dog.com, and I am joined by a participant in the Bellator Featherweight Grand Prix and the number one contender to champ champ Patricio Pitbull's 145-pound title. He was set to get his crack at the gold on March 12 at Bellator 241 in the quarterfinals of the tournament, but that uh, and all future promotional events have been put on pause because of the coronavirus coronavirus pandemic. And that man is coming to you all the way from Portugal. He's Pedro Carvalho. Pedro, my man, thanks for the time today. How's it going? It, 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 the intro was perfect. It was only missing one thing. Mm. And soon to be Ooh. and new. <laughs> <laughs> now, the one thing I was worried about, what's the right way to say your name? I was I was at the, the media day, the All-Star media day, and they announced it, Car- Carvayu. Is Carvayu the right, right way to say it? No. Damn. It's Carvalho. Lu. Oh. It's, uh, it's, uh, it, uh, we, in Portuguese, we have the, 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 the L and H have the sound yeah. Mm. And it's really, and I know, so I, I don't, I don't even complain because I know it's uh, really hard to people that are native English mm. to say it, to say it, so, because it doesn't exist in English. So I, I, every time people say Carvalho or Carvalho, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with <laughs> it. I'm just like, okay, it's fine. I'll just stick with Pedro or Future Champ. That works, right? That's that's perfect. That's perfect for me. <laughs> now I, I talked to Emmanuel Sanchez, who was on the 241 car too. And when the news came down about the event being postponed, he was completely caught off guard. Now part of the reason for him was because he just doesn't follow the news that much, so he wasn't really aware of how bad the pandemic was getting. But also because 30 minutes before it was officially postponed, he was told it was going to be a closed door event. When it went from you know regular event to closed door event to all of a sudden being postponed within a within a, within a few hours, were you surprised or or you kind of saw the writing on the wall from the news and everything going on? Like, ah oh, man, chances of this happen is probably not good. Like uh, no, I, I wasn't following up the news. Like I knew what was happening, but I wasn't following. Like I never follow really the news. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't like to. I don't like to switch on the news. I don't like to switch uh, on 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 a, sh- a show that uh, he only eighty percent of the time he only t- tells you negative mm-hmm. things. So I don't like. I never like to turn on the news. Like of course I, I like to be informed, but whatever. So what I what I do what I, what I didn't know at that time was that uh, yeah we'll be at closed doors, and I said like I, I this was told me like on Wednesday fight week or something, and I said like fine like what matters to me it's it's Patricio mm-hmm. you know as soon as soon he's there I'm fine he, the fight can even be in the lobby <laughs> of the hotel <laughs> that would have been good I would have liked uh, that. <laughs> I came, yeah, I came. I came to get my belt. The rest is rest. Uh, and then I remember. I remember. I was. Um, it was like three, uh, three p.m. And I was. I was getting ready to take a nap. You know, I just had my lunch, so I, I was about to take a nap, have some rest. And uh, and my manager gives me give, mm. sends me a text saying like, "Hey, sorry about about this." Blah blah blah. blah like. And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And he said, "Like the fight is off. the The show got canceled." Yeah. And I was like, "Hey, man, don't joke with these things." <laughs> and he sent me a print of um, of um, of Scott Cooker Twitter mm. saying anno- announcing yeah. announcing that Bellator show got canceled. And man, I can tell that it was like that was devastating. Mm. That was devastating. And uh, on the first two three hours, like. I was like numb. Mm. I was numb. Uh, but then, like you know, like I, I never, I never spent too much time, you know, thinking or in a negative mood. Like I straight away tried to focus on the next step. And uh, my next step on that day was going straight to the gym and mm. having my session. Because if I don't have, if I'm not gonna have my fight, at least I have my my, my training session. <laughs> You know, and I have my training session, and my my head got a, a bit clear, but uh, but yeah, but that first one one two day, uh, that first two days was like weird. It was like I was in some kind of bad weird dream, <laughs> you know, because I I visualized myself so many times yeah. coming back, you know, arriving in Dublin, arriving in Portugal with a belt, you know, with a belt on my shoulder and. 
suddenly I was arriving there and no belt, no no fight, yeah. no nothing, you know. So I was like, looked like I was in some kind of weird dream, and uh, yeah, it was 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 be harsh, but like. Like I said, like and I don't spend too much time thinking about negatives, you know. I just try to focus on a solution or something, you know, next, and you know that's that's what I did. And uh, I, I'm happy that Bellator made that decision because he only he only shows that they care about us. Our lives are also a priority to them, you know. Not only the profit of the shows, also our health. So I was really really happy to see uh, Bellator's um, action on, on, on that particular uh, subject. So, you know, you knew on Wednesday, at least Wednesday, you knew about Closed Door, that you were already preparing for that, but when Bellator, you know, contacted your manager, how in-depth did they go with the reasons for the full-on postponement? Was it like, you, like, oh, it's corona, this is specific, this is why we can't close door, and at least did they say, like, look, okay, we're going to try to reschedule for a certain date, or they were like, We'll let you know when we know. We have we really don't know what's happening from here on. You no, know, like they 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 um, at that at that time uh, on that particular day they they knew as much as as we knew. You know, we, we uh, like because I remember when I arrived in in America two days prior to the fight, like coronavirus wasn't that big of a thing, mm. and then one week later there was yeah. like. Places will start to, to events and and shows will start to to be closed doors or, or shut down and 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 by by the day of my fight day, everything was closed mm. and uh, so we didn't know nothing. So yeah, at, at, at those time they they couldn't they couldn't even give us a, a preview because we didn't know what was about to happen. You know, so uh, so yeah, that's that. At that time was that there was the. Um, the point, the, the starting point. The fighters on the card were supposed to be compensated for the work they put in towards the event because all you guys still did the way in the day before and all that stuff. Yeah. As a main eventer, I am sure you had to do, put in more than most in terms of like media stuff in the lead up to that and being the main fight in such a big card. Was your compensation your show money and win money? Was it just a show money? Was it a little bit less? Like how well can you talk about the compensation you got? I got I I got paid what I, what I, what I, what I ha I was supposed to get paid you know so uh, they um they they Bellator did exactly what they say they will do uh, you know they they paid all fighters um, show money uh, win money uh, of course of course you know you're gonna depend on the contract because they're fighters that they have a contract that they they receive uh, they they have a flat yeah. purse so it doesn't matter if they win or lose. Yeah. Then it's gonna then depends on the contract, but they they did they 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 did what they say you know they pay the fighters you know fighters didn't went there and, and came back with empty pockets you know they 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 got paid you know they uh, they did their work and 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 Bellator you know compensated us and uh, like I've said before like it was really really good to see like a company taking care of of, of their fighters you know you know treating us like persons you know mm. not just like a, a, a tool to um, to get profit you know because at the same time when you have when you're talking about big companies it's normal there the first thought about the company it's the profit of the company yep. because you're talking about we are talking about a lot of money yep. but uh, you know seeing a, a, such a, a huge a huge uh, action like that you know in, in a big scale because we are talking about a lot of money um it's it's really good to see you know that our lives matters to them you know and, um, and and they see us as people so yeah they they all everything was said was 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 sure you know all the fighters got paid got paid what was legitimate from them and 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 win bonus and everything yeah, and now you've been a sport a good amount of time but not as as long as some others this kind of thing where uh, uh, something let's say a fight gets canceled because because somebody missed weight or whatever they can't rebook there's been a lot of times where guys or girls don't get paid were you surprised that everybody did get compensated because now we're seeing that's happening more often or were you like you, you? You know what the relationship with is with Bellator. You you were almost expected to get paid nonetheless. Yeah, like I, like my, um, of course, because almost straight away, like straight away at the, almost at the same time that I knew that uh, the fire got canceled, I knew that I would get paid. Mm. 
but uh, but like at 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 the time I I wasn't even thinking about that, you know, but uh, but like I, I received both news almost at the same time, so I didn't have like time to to think what correct or not. I was just thinking about like fuck, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I got you know that that was my thing at the time, but uh, but yeah, but like the the they they, they knew of uh, of of Bellator playing like all, was like almost went to the fighters at the at the, at the same time as the the cancellation at least with me was like that you know so uh, so but yeah but it was like almost um, straight away now you, when I was talking to Emmanuel he told me within hours of everything being postponed or whatever canceled they put him on a flight right back to Milwaukee and everything that was the same for you and I mean I we've talked when we talked in September we talked about how you moved to Ireland and everything going to SPG but you're in Portugal now. Did you get a flight back to Ireland and then you went from Ireland to Portugal to be with your family or you went from, from Connecticut straight away to Portugal? No, I, I like I was full of, of, of luggage and, and stuff. So I went with a flight straight to, uh, to Dublin mm -hmm. and, um, and then from Dublin, neither, neither 24, uh, 24 hours I arrived in Dublin. Mm -hmm. I was uh, flying to uh, to Portugal, so I arrived. I arrived. Basically, I arrived in Dublin on uh, on a Sunday, and I went to Portugal on uh, on the night between Sunday and and Monday. Was that the plan, or because of everything going on with the pandemic, you wanted to be with your mom and your family, stuff like that? No, no, that was like more than less. Like I I, I was planning to go to Portugal, mm -hmm. but like one like kind of a week after uh the show mm. like uh on the weekend on the weekend after the the, the show i was planning and go to portugal and that's and spend their their their, their, their week between uh, in dublin because i i, I had all, other matters to um to deal mm. with it and uh, and that was my plan you know fight come back to dublin spend their week on, on dublin and then come back to portugal and so yeah all their pandemic things forced me in uh, in uh and doing like that because I didn't want to risk because as things were progressing so fast day by day, like I didn't want to risk getting the risk of like getting locked in in lockdown in uh, in Ireland mm. and I couldn't I couldn't get out yeah, you yeah. know, and then and then I would spend all this time till now just by myself in mm. in Ireland far far away from my son and and, and my family. Uh, so, so yeah, that was my first immediately uh, thought, like, uh, in, of, of what what I should do. What's the situation there? I, I'm in New York here, where it's the, it's the worst in the U.S. I know in different parts of Europe, it, you know, it varies. What's the situation in, in Portugal in terms of the virus, the the stay at home lockdown, stuff like that? Like, have you been locked down at home for a few weeks more? What's the situation for you there? So I'm I'm in uh, like yeah, we are in an emergency emergency state or. I don't know, almost a month. Mm. Uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm in, I'm locked down since, since I arrived. So more, more than a month now. And, uh, but yeah, but things are, I, I think they think, you know, that's my point of view. I don't, I don't, I don't really, really know deep down the, the, the matters, but my, my point of view of what I see things, it's like, it's, it's, it's okay. Mm. Of course. There are still people getting infected. You know, there are still some numbers of, pe of people dying. But overall, I think we, we, we Portugal did a, a good job because Portugal uh, act like really fast. Mm. You know, having actions yeah. about it, and um, and yeah, and because of that, like we didn't have like a, a boom of, of numbers. Yeah. You know, uh, like in Spain, that is right there. Yeah. You know, just just beside us. Yep. Um, so I think, I think things are pretty good. Like, so right now, uh, we have like an, an, in, a, in kind of a, uh, go down, down and up situation. So it's like, it doesn't go worse, but it doesn't, for now it doesn't go like that, but you go like really slowly yeah. getting, getting better. But, uh, but yeah, I think, I think they, they give us the information that you're going to keep the, the, the emergency state into the 2nd of May or 3rd mm -hmm. of May and uh, and then some national actions will be made like they're going to make a decision if they're going to reopen some places you know some like for example shops uh, you know 
going to regular life again, yeah, yeah. but like with some with some stuff, they're gonna they're gonna see how the situation is by by, by that time, and uh, and yeah, we'll see. You know, hopefully, hopefully things will start to uh, to get back on track. Well, here, you know, we're trying to figure out getting back on track. And some places, like I mentioned, are worse than others. But the president just put in that, you know, they're going to stop immigration coming in in terms of, but that also affects uh, work visas and stuff like that. Are you worried, you know, as we try to recover that it's really going to push your fight back with Patricio really, really far back? Maybe it ends up being July, August, September, because if you can't get in and use your work visa, I mean, you're kind of stuck there. I, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even like uh, hoping or expecting to fight uh, before September, to be honest. Okay. You know, yeah, because we are talking about all this pandemic. Uh, like, for example, I'm, I, I know that I'm going to be at least in Portugal until mid of May, mm. at least, yeah. at least. So with all this, you know, and everything is still closed. All the gyms are closed. Everything is closed. We can't, we can't, you know. We have to, we, by law, we have to stay at home. Mm. So, uh, and with all this legal stuff, you know, so I, I, I don't see, I don't see getting rescheduled bef- at, be at least on, on a good point of view before August. I don't see, mm. I don't see my, I don't see myself fighting before that, you know, if, if that happened, that would be huge, super, that will be happy days. But, uh, but yeah, I expecting and fighting around uh, august september i think i hope i hope i hope it doesn't it doesn't go further than that i hope it doesn't go further than that yeah i wanted to, to go back to the, to the grand prix quarterfinal show in september and you mentioned not wanting to fight in december on the show when and then when you made your selection january march was there you chose march and, and then fighting darren caldwell over adam borich caldwell's a guy many feel could win it all. You said that night you wanted to fight the best. I'm sure January w- was closer to December, Christmas. We talked about that too. You didn't want to fight too close to Christmas. If Boric, though, was by chance on February or he was in April, would you have still chosen Caldwell? A- and if yes, what do you feel about that matchup with such a high-level wrestler that you really like, that you feel you can beat him? So, like, my, my decision was was uh, was taken by the options that I had, mm-hmm. you know? I just had two options. And like I've said, like January, I I I, I really didn't, didn't want to because mm. I take I take Christmas serious, you know. And, uh, <laughs> it's the best know, holiday. Like, I love like, Christmas. You know what I mean? It's for me. It's family time. Is mm. is that that only time of the year where I really can kind of switch off and just yeah. give the proper attention to my family, you know? So I don't want. I I, I never wanted to give it up of that. And uh, so if I have two options, I will just take Marsh. And like I've said, like Marsh. Appealed me because I like to fight with Caldwell, you know, because it's it's a big name, former champion, and like I've said before, like I want to prove that I'm the best, so I have to, I have to 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 take these big names. It's the best way to prove that I'm the best, taking the best the best names, the big names. So mm-hmm. that was my option, and uh, but of course, like of course, that option was taken because of of the options that I had, you mm. know, if I had all other options, I don't know how it would be. It depends on the options. It depends on the dates. Mm. Like the dates was, was a big factor for me, you know, yeah. because pretty much the only date that I really, really didn't want it was January because it was just after Christmas, mm-hmm. you know, December was before Christmas. By February was kind of okay because it was two months be- after Christmas. And uh, and March like was March was my second uh, the second date that I I, I, I disliked the most because <laughs> January was, was was the one that I didn't like it because mm. was was after Christmas but March was too wow. too ahead yeah, you know yeah. was too far away you know but uh, but yeah but I preferred to spend more time <laughs> and uh, and also on the back of my mind there was that thing because. I watch everything, you know. I watch like these guys. They, 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 they don't. Know. I know everything. I, I know. I, I see all everything they say. I know it. I see it. Everything, and I knew that uh, that Patricio will pick a later date, mm. or Fev- I, I, I knew. I knew by the time that I was making my pick that he will pick or February or March by fact. Mm-hmm. by his words yeah, yeah. and uh and especially after after i i watched his fight i i, I was like almost 100 percent sure yeah, that yeah. he would pick or fe- or february or mars 
So Marsh was right there, and like I've said, like the 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 the, the fight there was appealing the most to me was uh, was Caldwell, and I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll, I'll put myself here, and who knows, who mm-hmm. knows, you know. Uh, but but yeah, but of course when I when I picked Marsh, um, uh, at the same time I was like, yeah, he, he probably is not not gonna pick me because you know I'm 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 the guy with 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 less name, you mm. know, I'm, I'm the less. I'm the last known guy, so he probably gonna, not gonna choose, no, not gonna pick me. Yeah. And yeah, and by the time he came, he said Marsh, and by the time he said Marsh, I was like, he gonna pick me, because <laughs> we, we kind of, we kind of, we kind of look at each other, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he kind of, with his eyes, he kind of asked me, "You wanna go?" And I said, "Like, let's go, let's do this," you know. And <laughs> by the time he said Marsh, I was like, "Boy, I think he's gonna pick me." Mm. <laughs> And then he actually picked me, so yeah, so happy times. And that's interesting that you you kind of you strategized for that, figured he wasn't gonna pick you because you didn't name. Because I was gonna ask, since he, because he had the choice, he could afford you or Caldwell. He chose you. I was gonna ask if you would, if you did feel like offended on some level, thinking, oh, he he sees Caldwell's the bigger name, so I'm probably gonna be easier. But in that, I'm guessing you did. You were just happy to get the fight, and that's what what you strategized to get anyway, and you got it. Yeah, like to be honest, at this time we never know. We're gonna really never know because only he knows is really um, uh, why he picked me. But um, I truly believe that at, by this stage, like all after all these months, you know, go back and forth on Twitter and this and and hear a lot of, of interviews. Like I, I truly believe that he just he, he's, he's just trying to use me. By the fact that I'm an SVG fighter to, um, mm. to advertise his gym, you know, he's trying yeah. to get his his gym name by the cause of 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 SVG. So and uh, I, as I was the only SVG guy there, and uh, and he's like he's a he's a he's a, he's a Connor fan. Patricio is is a is a, is a, is a Connor fan. He, he's always talking about Connor. You know, he's probably one. One day, one day he's probably gonna ask, take a picture with him. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, and uh, he, like the only thing that I see is like he, he just wanted this, you know, to kind of sell the image of his gym, you know, on the cause. As SVG is such a, a gym with big name, mm. you know, and they they just that, that that's I think I truly believe that's the the main reason why he picked me. And besides all the other guys he already faced, you know. Uh, Vaishal two times, uh, Sanchez one time. Mm-hmm. So it was like, okay, this side looks good to me. I, I beat that two, uh, three times. And this guy is from SVG. So yeah, let's like this. You know? So I think that was his way of thinking. No, and I... of course, and of course, he, 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 like, let's be honest. He really, he, 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 of course, we all... We, in this tournament, every guy takes they can beat everyone. Yeah. But uh, but but he, he kind of he kind of over he kind of underestimate me, and I know that. And, and you can see on, on on two different okay occasions and and, and examples. That is, um, for example, uh, with Fightle with Michael Chandler, he did his camp in the US, mm-hmm. and this, for example, is just say in Brazil. Hmm. So you can you, you can see that he's he, he's not taking me that like he I believe that he's taking me serious but not as serious as other fights before. Hmm. Maybe now maybe now with all these <laughs> we say we, we we got we got we we got faced several times you know and I believe I got into his head. Hmm. Um, but uh, maybe now we're taking a, a bit more serious. But uh, but at the same time, I I don't believe that he he, 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 he from the very beginning he never took me like that that serious, mm. you know. When we talked in September, we talked about your, your pressure style and and how cardio is a key element of it. And we also talked about uh, if it, it were up to you, we we, we talked in events. If the if the situation was up to you in the selection, you would choose him, and that's what you actually got. Which you have, you know. A, a, all these things now, be, Patricio beat two guys with very good cardio and one with very good pressure in Juan Archuleta and Emmanuel Sanchez in his last two fights. Why do you feel you bring the, what's something that they do not? Is it simply that you have the mix of the pressure and then the length of range? And that's a big difference that separates you from, say, Emmanuel Sanchez, who's a pressure cardio kind of guy. 
Yeah, that's several factors. The first factor is like I'm a better fighter than they are, period. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, and I, I, I don't see things other way. Uh, but break down fight by fight, like Sanchez is, is, is really good on pressure and is uh, really good on cardio, but that's, that, you know, one thing is putting pressure, other thing is just, you know, the difference between me and him mainly is like I can throw less shots, but my shots, each one, it's going with precision, intention, mm. and it's going, they, they're probably going to land. Mm. Most of his shot is just throwing. He's just throwing volume. He's just throwing volume, but it's yeah. like it's, it's like he's just throwing to throw. He's not throwing with intention. He's not like setting things up. He's just throwing because you know he's he's, he's a savage. I I, I, I like Sanchez style, but you can see that when he's throwing things, he's, he's just throwing because it's like warrior style, just going and throwing knees and then these, and that's good, you know. But you can see that. There's not a plan behind it, mm. you know, and and that's a big difference, you know, and and uh, and with Arcoleta, like I was there, I was cage side, and I could I could see that he wasn't there, he wasn't mm. there from yeah. the very beginning. Yeah, he was he was respect. Like I, I saw I saw I saw him I saw him on, on several uh, podcasts and, and things after the fight, and uh, I, I like. I don't know, but I think he, 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 the, the main fact there was um, he was respecting too much mm, um, okay. Patricio. And Patricio knew that. Patricio was, was aware of that. So the only thing Patricio did on that fight was waiting for him, mm. was just stay on the center of the cage and waiting, waiting, loading, loading, loading. And by the time he was trying to, to, get, to get their, their, their uh, range short, he was he was get, get, cutting him with with their big right hand mm. every almost every time you know yeah. and 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 every time uh, Patricia got a good position he did what he always do like six times like the, the, on the on his last uh, six fights that is like holding the round and winning the round round yeah. by round you know and, uh, and and that was it by the by the end he got the decision so. Um, I think I think one of the one one, one of the, um, the the big difference makers in in all of 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 my pressure, uh, Arcleta pressure and uh, Emmanuel Sanchez pressure, is like um, for example, me and Emmanuel we go forward, but the thing is, imagine imagine that me and my opponent have a rope. Mm -hmm. You know, we are constantly on the same distance. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to step back, I don't want to step back. So we are always on the same distance. So I'm always in his face. Mm -hmm. There's not, even if I'm not throwing, I'm putting pressure by, by my body position. Hmm. Okay. And, 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 and people from outside doesn't see that. And only when you are actually in front of me, uh, uh, you, you feel that type of thing. And, and for example, when I know a lot of times when, when guys throw a shot, Guys, we respect like they go backwards and then they go forwards. And by the time that people go back and then go go in again, you give time to the guy to kind of regroup himself, see where you are, see where he is, mm. and, and and strategize again. And, and and all these little millimeters, all these little milliseconds are it's counting. And uh, and that pressure by and like it's. All other stuffs, but uh, but but my pressure is just different because of that. Because I'm always in his face, mm. and um, and then and a big factor of that, like I I, I, I always like to play with um, body expression, face expression, read his expression, and kind of uh, my my own, my own game is going to be a reflection of how I, I I'm reading him, not reading his game. I'm reading his mind, you know. Mm. And uh, and uh, and then you can you can see by by and you can really start to see because when you are fresh, it's like a machine, you know. The guy is fresh, so he's throwing, yeah. he's, he, he's, he's, he's throwing with, with power, he's grabbing with power. But by but by the time you pass the first round and and here you go, you really can start to break the guy up mm. in, in terms of like levels. You can you can see like layers 
of him, you know, and you, you start to take one by one and you start to see the guy really clear. And I like to see that. And you can see that the way the guy throw the punch, the, the way the guy react when he throws the punch and he, he sees you receiving the punch or when you throwing something and the way he reacts, all these, I'm reading everything. I'm reading all these and, 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 and people don't understand because these things doesn't, is impossible, almost impossible to see it, you mm -hmm. know, because it, it, the only person that is seeing it's it's me, yeah, you know, and uh, and, and that's a, a big difference maker, you know, and and like I said, this this is what dif dif difference me from from the rest, and 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 only a guy that is actually inside of there, they know, you know. Can you so then? Can you watch previous fights of Patricio and can you read body language and have you seen things or yeah. you need to oh, so so what what would you say in his last few fights that you know what what are you seeing in terms of body language maybe from round to round energy level what have you seen so far what I've seen like the the, the main thing that he see is like he, he doesn't like to get tired he mm. just doesn't like to get tired he's not concerns of uh, what I'm saying what I'm not saying that he's lazy I'm so saying he that he he's, conserves and tries to he, take he, minutes he, off he, and stuff he thinks like before he, he throws something with power, before he grabs you and, and tries something uh, powerful, mm. he thinks really, really well. He, he thinks like two, three times before he actually do it. He, mm. he think he, 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 he sees the thing, and that's what I think. What what I say that is really smart. You know, in terms of he sees the 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 action going on, and he thinks is it, is is it going to be worth it mm. or not. And if he sees that it's worth it, he explodes. It he, he throws like like a combination of three shots, like ba ba bam, and maybe try a, a, a takedown or something. But if he sees that it's not worth it, he's just gonna back it up, mm. and he's just gonna keep that distance, waiting for you, try a counter attack, and that and, and that's how, how, how he, he position himself. He try like I've said, and that that's experience, you know. No, that's a, a experienced guy. That's that's. The the fight the fights that he already did like the amount of five round fights that yeah. he did yes. they gives you that experience but um, you know the IQ that I have the IQ that I bring the the, the 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 fighter that I am you know he just didn't have a face you know and um, I, I'm a smart fighter also I don't like to brag myself but I know brag, that I'm a smart fighter say it. <laughs> I know I know I know I know I know I have a, a higher IQ than most of the guys that he faced you know and I can see that especially outside of the fights the way fighters fighters are just like on on, on their on their living and, and you know they for example they cross paths and they, they they don't look at each other they don't and like every single moment I see a opponent or a possible opponent I'm reading everything. I'm seeing everything. Mm. I, 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 even the way the people walks. Like I, I can look like I, maybe I'm talking now and people, I'm sounding like a psycho. <laughs> but that's me, you know. I, 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 I watch everything because yeah. every single, every single millimeter, every single thing, it's going. I, I'm going to be like a, a, a pattern, you know, uh, of, a, of each fighter. And by the time we are inside of the cage. I know a lot of things about you. I know a lot of things that you react in say, in some reaction in in some in some action in here and there. How are you gonna react for uh, when you are tired? Are you gonna react to when you are on top? How you react if I come back? A lot of things, you know, and uh, and, and that's the, the big difference maker the difference between me and the rest. You know, these guys are just focused on on um, on fighting, but fighting is way more than that, you know, and and. And that's why they they will say time by time, fight by fight, they will say. Is that part of why you feel the confidence? And you feel confidence because you're such a good fighter, but feel confidence in particular against Patricio because we're going back to what you're saying that he kind of thinks if it's worth it or not and then makes a decision. By keeping him on that rope with that pressure is that short-circuiting his opportunity to think if it's worth it or not. And keeping that pressure, you're really short-circuiting his thinking in a way. Oh, yeah, like... Uh... My confidence comes because I just I believe on my true being mm. that I'm the best. Mm. Period. Not only because I believe, but also because I I, I I train since I'm 13 years old. Since I'm 13 years old, I'm saying I'm gonna be the best in the world, and I've been working mm. for uh, to to achieve that. You know, and uh, 
I know, you know, I know the level that I am because all my life I never focused on any other fighters or, or, or group of fighters. I just focus on myself and, 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 and to particularly really know myself because how you, how you want to study your opponent uh, when you don't know really well yourself. You have, to, you have to first fully know yourself, full know your body and, and, your, and your mind and only after you're going to focus on the other guys. So, you know, I know myself, I know what I'm capable of yeah. and I know how far I can go. So, and, and, and that's where my confidence come. And, but of course, uh, talking about skill set wise, like I, I'm just, you never face a striker like me, you know, he never, and you never face a guy that I just, I really get. And I think I proved that before I can face, I can finish a fight from almost every angle, you know, and I'm not going to hold in a fight. You know, these guys, they just try to all fights, but at the same time, I'm not going to let to this tall, like, because I know Patricio is smart. I know that I just can go out there and I'm going to finish you and let's go. <laughs> no, like, you know, it's a big, first is a big fight and yeah. second is really smart, yeah. you know, and third is used to be the champion waiting for guys that is trying to finishing him yeah and all these you know i'm aware of that you know and uh, and, and this awareness uh, it, it, like i've said it's you it, never face a guy with the awareness of fighting and even experience of fight like i'm a, i'm a young guy but i have a lot of fights on my back mm. you know because people only see the the pro mma record but i have way more fights than that i have kickboxing fights mm. amateur uh, pro you know, I face top guys on K1 level, and uh, I know what I'm. I'm just know the, what I'm capable of, and uh, and I and I see myself. You know, the work that I put on on, on the gym, and uh, you know, I, I never like to spend too much time. I just like to go out there and and, and outcase these guys. And uh, like I said, my only goal right now is just go out there and, and prove what I said. I'm the best in the world. And uh, I, I, I'm just happy, delighted, even with this postponed thing of, uh, because of coronavirus. I don't care. Like, uh, I'm going to face him sooner or later. Mm. And uh, I'm just face that is him. I'm just face. Uh, I'm just happy that I'm facing the best guy that Bellator can offer. Mm. Because after him, I, I know after him, people will say like, ah, you beat Patricio, but you have McKee or ah, you have Calvert, all these or that. People are always gonna say that <laughs> you have this guy up there, but yeah. I, you know, I'm just I'm just happy that I have the best guy in the organization to face, to dominate, finishing him, become champion, and prove what I've been said that I'm the best in the world. I want to get your thoughts on that fight week. I, you know, aside from the dark cloud that it was the coronavirus and everything like that, I want to get you, you know, your experience as being a main eventer and title challenger for a major event to be one of the faces of the promotion, even for a week. And I wanted to also show you, like, a picture I took. I was at the media day, the All Star Media Day, like this one right here. You know, just to be at a table. Uh, uh, we, have, we lower. We lower. Oh yeah. yeah okay. You know, okay, just, to, just to be at a table with the likes of Ben Henderson, Douglas Lehman, like, you know, what what was it like? You know, did you, was it all you wanted? Did it just make your fire even stronger? Like to be one of the faces of a promotion, even for a week, was, what was it like? You know, like, uh, I was, I was, when, <laughs> when I was sitting there and uh, I, I, I look around and I was like, on the, on, on the top seat, you know, mm -hmm. and I was just looking around and I was seeing guys that I, I, I grew up watching, you know, I grew up watching Ben Anderson, I grew up watching Musasi, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I, I grew up, you know, watching Patricio, watching a lot of guys that were there sitting, you know, and I was just there on, on one of the, of the top seats and yep. I was like, Fuck yeah, this is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm worth it, you know. Yeah, this yeah. is what I'm working, you know. This is just like a little compensate of, of, yep. of all my work, all the sacrifice, you know, all, everything that, I, that I've been through all my life. And, and, and I, I, I just sacrificed so much. And, you know, I, I, I deserve way more than that. So I just, I was happy. But I, I was happy, you know. And, uh, but at the same time, I was I was just like two feet away from my opponent. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Was focused on, <laughs> I was focused on him, and um, but yeah, but I was happy. It was it was a, it was a great experience, especially being in New York. You know, New York was all, uh, 
always in my kind of bucket list of mm. um, of, of places to uh, to go. I always wanted to be in New York, and I was in New York doing what I love, you know. And uh, yeah, it was without a doubt a, a great experience. It was really really good.